Shopify Payments vs. Stripe, Best Payment Processor for Shopify. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about Shopify Payments and Stripe. Now, Shopify Payments, as we all know, is Shopify's very own payment service, and Stripe, as we all know, is one of the highly most used e-commerce payment providers out there, okay? So we can see Stripe is a financial infrastructure for the internet, okay? It's basically just PayPal and steroids, and then you have Shopify, okay? Shopify, obviously, one of the most top leading e-commerce providers out there, and you can use this absolutely amazing e-commerce provider for yourself to actually use their very own payment providers called Shopify Payments, okay? And it's up to us to find out which one actually works better, which one feels better, and which one is the better one in the outcome of this video, okay? We're going to be knowing all of it, and we're going to be talking about all the features and everything that is important by the end of this video. So let's get straight into it. Now to start things off, I'm going to load in my Shopify real quick. And while my Shopify is loading, I'm also going to take you to my Stripe dashboard. Now, basically, when you create a Shopify store for yourself, what happens in there is that you get provided with this payment provider, which is called Shopify Payments. OK, now Shopify Payments has its own pros and its own cons. Now, if you want to go ahead and solely use payment only related to Shopify's sake, then obviously I would definitely recommend using Shopify for yourself. But if you want to go ahead and use Stripe with Shopify, that is also an option. Stripe is actually a really good and incredible section and incredible e-commerce provider for your payments. Okay. And many softwares like WordPress, Wix, you have WooCommerce, BigCommerce, all these big websites of e-commerce use Stripe for themselves, okay? And uh, it really helps. It really gives you a good idea of the use of these things. And uh, the best part about all of this is that they both give you endless currencies and endless possibilities to talk about your product, okay? So first of all, let's start talking in great detail about Shopify payments, okay? So Shopify payments, as we all can see, is the simplest way to accept payments online. It eliminates the hassle of, uh, you know, going through with uh, all the main uh, important and the very uh, end up things of uh, your payments. So it helps you with all of that. And uh, the even better part of all of this is that it has a lot of differences. So there's a lot of head to head comparisons between Stripe and Shopify. Okay. And I'm going to be showing you and talking about those uh, actual comparisons. So first of all, here's Stripe. Okay. Now, Shopify payments obviously can be accessed through their very own payment providers where you can get other payment providers such as PayPal, you have Visa, MasterCard, Payoneer, any of these payment providers can be used for yourself. But obviously, in the foreseeable future, you can use other providers for yourself as well. But obviously, when it comes to Stripe, Stripe in it as itself is a whole provider. And uh, you can use this really incredible and really amazing provider in the easiest and most simplest way possible, okay? And trust me, it helps the user a lot. It helps you to the greatest extent. And obviously, it does make sense when people want to choose a different payment option for themselves when it comes to Shopify and Stripe. So first of all, let's start talking in more detail about our Stripe payments, okay? So while we are in Stripe, you know, Stripe has become the number one choice for anyone who wants to start online e-commerce ecosystem payments, okay? Now, it does offer unique features to be tailored to specific businesses with different needs. Now, whether you're a seasoned entrepreneur or just starting out, understanding the differences between these platforms can significantly impact your business's growth. So to attract your customers, you need to be able to offer them the best possible experience. And the payment process is one of the essential factors to make a good customer experience. Now, currently on Shopify, two most popular payment options are Shopify and Stripe. So what is the difference? What is the main difference? Okay, so there's five key differences that you are going to want to need to know. Now, the first key difference is Shopify 
and Stripe's payout time. So when it comes to their actual payout time, if you utilize Shopify payments, rest assured that Shopify will handle your payments. These payouts are typically made once or twice a week and sent directly to the bank account that you provided them. However, the actual frequency of your payments will vary depending on your location. Now, for instance, if you reside in the USA or Australia, Shopify will process payments every two days. Conversely, in most other countries, you can expect payouts every three days. Keep in mind that the speed at which you access the funds depends on your bank's processing time. Now, as for Stripe, their payout process closely resembles that of Shopify payments, but is slightly more intricate. Normally, your first payout from Stripe will take around 7 to 14 calendar days. During this initial period, Stripe examines your business to determine if it falls into what they consider a high-risk industry, and if so, they may withhold your payments temporarily. Then moving on, Shopify versus Stripe's actual chargebacks are pretty different as well. So let's say we use Stripe's very own chargeback. Okay, so we have Stripe open right here in front of us, right? So let's say we're gonna go on, share a link to a checkout page. Now, of course, as you're using this as you know your recurring payment, your, your main payment provider, as you're using this for yourself, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna get a certain amount of chargeback. You're gonna get a certain amount of payback. So they're gonna cut a small amount from your wallet, okay? And while they're cutting that small amount, what's gonna be happening is that it's gonna cause you a little bit of a discomfort that, you know, why am I giving money to this? But obviously the chargeback from Stripe is far greater than the chargeback that Shopify has. Now, even the fraud filter in these, both these platforms have great fraud filters, but in my opinion, Stripe has much better ones because Stripe gives you CVV and AVS. So basically you get card verification value and address verification system. So you get these two things for yourself when you're using this and the pricing and transaction fees between these two are also pretty crazy you know because the basic shopify price like to use shopify payments you will have to pay at least the basic plan for shopify which is 25 dollars per month and the main plan is 65 dollars per month and the advanced plan is 400 dollars per month which is a, quite a lot of money for just you know getting a payment provider but then moves on to stripe so Stripe is technically free, like you can create an account for free, but obviously for every transaction you make, they make 2.9% plus 3 cents per transaction. So obviously the money that they don't take in the start will be cut later on from the different transactions you make and the different uh, you know number of outputs you make through those transactions. So these are the things that you're going to need to keep in mind when uh, you're using things like uh, Shopify and you're using things like Stripe, okay? So these are really important things to, you know, just keep an idea of, to keep a repertoire of. And if you get the general idea of this, you know, that should really help you through your journey of finding the better processor and the better provider between Shopify and your very own Stripe. So that's basically about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.